Hey guys, check out this old barn. We're guessing she's about 120 years old and you know what happens to them after a long time. Most people just tear the barns down. But let me show you what we did on the inside here. Now people love these buildings because they're so cool the way they were put together. These are hand hewn beams that every one of these notches was from a chisel and a hammer many, many years ago. And they were put together with just mostly with pins, some nails, but mostly those round circular pins. And they're literally just have notches cut out like this where the beams fit together. If you look at this corner of the building, you can see what the original foundations looked like and how they did them 120 years ago. The brickwork, somebody came in some time ago, but so here's your corner post in the back corner, but they had these beams down here and that beam has just been sitting on dirt for a century. And after a while, and these beams are just literally laying there in the dirt for so long, they start to rot and then the building begins to sink and sag. So instead of tearing them down, here's what we did on this side. Here we are on the opposite side of the building, same kind of corner post, but we actually jacked this whole building up and we hand dug underneath there about three foot deep, put a foundation, um, a trench footer in the ground and then the guys formed up this wall and then put this new, this new uh, seal plate right there and then rested those, dropped it back down off of the jacks. And honestly, are giving this building another 120 years. Once this thing is totally finished with a brand new concrete floor, cut that out for a six by six overhead door, gave them a new set of steps to get up into this secondary part. Here's the main part of the building. You can see all that new wall back there. This is still waiting to be poured. All of those concrete forms right there. We're doing the same thing. And then these big sliders are gonna come off. This is all gonna get reframed. Look at this post. This guy was literally totally rotted at the bottom and just floating. You can see what they did. Somebody did that years ago and tried to support these boys. And so that's something similar. So this is getting formed up and that'll be a concrete pad right there. So instead of tearing them down, it does take a lot of work, but it's a great way to preserve history. And I know our clients are gonna be super happy when we're finished.